Barnes and Nobles continuing to expand in 2024. The company expected to open between 50 and 60 stores, many smaller in size and opening in markets where larger locations had closed. And this at a time when the average size of a retail space falling to a historic low, just under 5,000 square feet. Joining us right now is James Daunt. He's the CEO of Barnes and Noble. Uh, it's been quite the turnaround story thus far, James, and I know you're, you're, you're trying to continue uh, the trend. Tell us what's going on in the book business and, and what these expansion plans look like. There was a fascinating piece about how uh, recently about the designs of all of these stores uh, no longer being the same, meaning you're going to walk into a store locally in all sorts of different places, and in each place it's going to look almost completely differently. And I thought that was such a, a, a unique shift in the way retailers have always thought. Well, certainly, I, I think bookstores are best uh, managed and, and curated by the individual local booksellers. And, and now that we've given complete autonomy to our managers, uh, we are finding uh, generally that our bookstores are becoming dramatically better. A few of them not, <laughs> and, but that's something that we can deal with. But if you allow booksellers to uh, curate their stores for their local communities, you do end up with much, much better bookstores. And indeed, you know, post-pandemic, we're enjoying a uh, an extraordinary rise in popularity of, of books and reading generally, uh, yeah, which has made up... What do you think that's about? What's that renaissance about? I mean, at the same time as we're all lamenting uh, you know, uh, everybody on their phone and social media and all the time and, and effort that people are putting there, plus audiobooks, which is its own uh, business unto itself. What do you think has brought people back to books? I think books are just intrinsically wonderful. Uh, a physical book is something that gives great pleasure. You know, they're not expensive for the amount of uh, time and and, uh, that the, and entertainment that they give you. Um, and, and, you know, we like to think actually um, just having better bookstores is helping as well. Uh, independents are doing doing well and, and they're running better stores and opening up new ones as, as well as Barnes & Noble. Let me ask you about this whole design issue, though, because if, if each store looks different, I imagine it used to be one of the reasons people did this was both for the consistency. So if you knew you were walking to a Barnes & Noble, you, that was a thing. And the other piece would have been, I imagine, the cost savings if you were being able to buy, you know, cer certain tables in bulk, certain flooring in bulk, all of that. Can you get those savings in the same way or not really? No, it's it's much more expensive to do. Um, but it was always a false economy, uh, creating identical stores, uh, driving, which meant that you, they also had to be sort of a particular size, which wasn't actually sort of, uh, uh, didn't allow us to be in some of the communities in which we wished to be and didn't create intimate spaces. It is more expensive, but you drive so much higher sales that the benefit to the retailer just in, in pure dollars is, is comes to our side. But it also creates fun stores full of people. Um, and those are easier to manage and easier to run, and your stock moves much quicker. Uh, so everything works better, but it is more expensive. Um, is there a hot book? I mean, obviously, the Britney Spears book is, I think, the number one book this week, followed by Barbara Streisand. Uh, but is there a hot book you think that's going to be your big, biggest seller Christmas time? Uh, well, there's Rebecca Yaros is is the one amongst particularly sort of the younger generation that is is absolutely roaring. Uh, but for us, we we have a book of the year, which every year is our bestseller for the last mm. since we've announced it has mm. been, um, and that's uh, the Heaven and Earth um, uh, Society, which is just the most wonderful novel. Um, James McBride, brilliant author, and and he's produced a, a work of genius. Um, uh, oddly enough, actually, Amazon named it its its book of the year as well. So it's not just us; it's everybody, and it's a great great. Great book, and we're selling masses of it. 